Hi everyone, today I'm doing some wiring on my Cougar. Uh, as you may have seen on my uh, build thread, I had some wiring issues that resulted in some unreliable operation. So, recently I went to the junkyard and I picked up these um, nifty modules. These are from a late 90s Buick Riviera. I just pulled these out. This has a nice power distribution bar here, and this is set up for maxi fuses. The goal here is to bring in uh, high load power leads under the dash inside the vehicle for any sort of future accessories that I might need or whatever. Um, so there's also a module here. These snap in to a little holder that I just don't want to move the camera to show you, but uh, they sort of snap in and I put together a double module. So this is going to be the second one and this is actually a dummy module and all this does is hold spare maxi fuses. So today what I'm going to show you is some um, proper ways to crimp um, wiring and put on these terminals. So <clears throat> these blocks use these terminals uh, by Delphi. Uh, these are Metripack 800 and these are rated at 60 amps. So we have our loose wires here that I've already run along the firewall and into under the dash through a grommet uh, in the firewall. So what we're going to do now is put one of these terminals on this wire. Now to do that you need a proper crimping tool. So this is something I just picked up from Waytech. This is one of their new um, sort of universal crimpers. This is part number 560 and <clears throat> it, is, it allows you to use these uh, dies that are interchangeable for various types of crimps. So this particular one is for Metripack connections um, and it goes up to 10 gauge which is the wire that we're using here. So to install one of these you sort of position this inside and there's a little clip here me forever to figure out how to do this. So it sort of slides in and now you have a nice ratcheting tool and you really gotta squeeze this thing to release. So let's see if we can do this. Here I have, I picked up from Mauser, um, these are those uh, Metripack 800 terminals. see they look identical to the GM ones. I have a nice clip here. All right. So the first thing we need to do is strip some wire. And here, you know, we have a nice uh, stripping tool. So we're going to take off about 3 eighths of an inch of wire. So the goal here is to have the wire part, let's see that when I cut it just a little too long, or I should say I stripped it a little too long, but I think it'll be okay. Maybe we'll trim it just a little bit. wire so the terminal is going to go something like this. Now I want to twist these just a little bit. This is very hard to do because it's 10 gauge and it's pretty thick stuff. So now what this tool does is it actually crimps both, both the primary and the secondary part of this terminal. The second tang here catches the wire insulation. So I'm going to insert this terminal into the uh, crimper. This takes a little finesse to get it going.
terminal is inserted into the die and we're going to feed our wire through. So we want to make sure all the strands are fully inserted and then the insulation is past the secondary crimp, which it looks, looks like it is. So now we squeeze. So here we have our finished crimp. Let's see if I can bring it a little closer to the camera here. And it looks like just like our OEM crimp. So this is ready to go. So these snap in going this way into this block. You can do you hear that click? So now there's a retention, and then there's also what they call a secondary retention clip, and that's this guy. This slides in here, like this, and once I have all of them in place, that looks like I got it going backwards. This is easy, I promise. There we go. So these snap in place and it gives it an extra measure of protection against pulling. So power will come in here through the directly from the battery. There's a lug on the on the box. And then this is a bar that has all these terminals are already uh, prefixed in there. So now you can add in your big maxi fuse, like this guy, and you're ready to go. So you got fused, reliable connection up to 60 amps going inside uh, the cabin. Thanks for watching.